The sawfish, also known as the carpenter shark, is a ray easily identified by its large tooth rostrum, which resembles a saw, as seen above. The sawfish commonly reaches 18 feet in length and can grow up to almost 25 feet long. Sawfish are very slow to mature and only mate every two years with an average litter of eight. They are ovoviviparous, which means eggs are developed and hatched within the body. Sawfish occupy a large variety of environments because they can move between fresh and salt water. The sawfish is estimated to live up to 25 to 30 years. Although this may seem like a long time, due to the fact that it matures at around 10 years, it is not able to reproduce often, which keeps the numbers very low, which is not good when there is such a high demand for their highly prized rostrum. The sawfish's rostrum helps it feed. They can either slash it back and forth, slicing their food up, or pin their food to the ground. Here are some examples of both. The main reason for the sawfish's decline is overfishing. Sawfish are easily caught in fishermen's nets, and once they're caught, their rostrums are cut off because they can easily fish up to $1,500. The sawfish is categorized by the IUCN, or the International Union for Conservation of Nature, as critically endangered, which means that it has a high probability of going extinct. Drastic measures are needed to ensure this population can survive. For example, it is totally illegal to capture sawfish under the Endangered Species Act, and the international trade of sawfish was banned by the CITES Convention in June 2007, which is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. In addition, the sale of the sawfish's rostrum is strictly prohibited in the United States, with harsh legal penalties if not abided by. Like I mentioned before, it is illegal to capture sawfish, the international trade of sawfish is banned, and the sale of sawfish's rostrum is strictly prohibited in the U.S. <laughs> Although it may still be illegal, the little to no enforcement in third world countries is the biggest thing challenging the recovery plan of sawfish. Local third world populations like Kenya, continue to fish for sawfish in search of their rostrums, which are worth a lot of money. As you can see in the video, people are bringing up a sawfish onto the beach that has just been caught in a fisherman's net. The rostrums are said to be worth so much that a representative from the National Museum of Kenya stated, a fisherman can retire after catching one sawfish due to the high value of a single rostrum, up to $1,500. The current sawfish population is 10% of what it used to be. Sawfish populations are continuing to decline, and it is important that we protect these animals in order to save them from extinction.